Mm. All right, let's make sure that this is live first. Am I live? Okay. Am I live? Okay. Am I live? Okay. Am I live? Okay. Am I, live? Okay. <laughs> I am echoing everywhere. Okay. I'm a little early. That's fine. <clears throat> check one, two. Check, check, check. What's going on? Okay, let's see what we got here. So someone says three people. Again, it seems weird. How can there be three people on? I'm not sure how that works exactly. Hmm. I don't know. Sorry. Let's do this to actually let's do this. That mm. okay. <laughs> just little old me. Do it away. Do it away. <laughs> Dude, boy. Yep. Yep. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so red. That's weird. Oh, that's all I know. Um, let's see. Oh, 
for now, let's do that. For now, it's a little better. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Did they go work? Come Cat, such a good boy. Is that me or the cat? <laughs> uh, I started things a little early. Can you hear me? Let me know that you can hear and or see me both. Okay, awesome. Cool. You, uh, cat, you are officially the first um, person to uh, to log into. Uh, into the live stream, uh, just in general. I did, I've done three others of these as tests, so this would be the first one that I kind of did a little more public with. Um, <laughs> Karen is currently texting me that uh, that uh, Jamari's party went well today, so that's good. For some reason, it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. I'm not. <laughs> um, um, I don't know what, what that is. I have all the lights off. It's not like it's anything reflecting. I didn't need eat any popsicles or anything weird. Anyway, so I don't know. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I put this out. Hopefully both, some other people will pop in as well. But uh, how you doing, Kat? Everything good on your end? Uh, well, yeah, you had probably had to work today, right? <laughs> it's a little bit of a delay, so i, I got to get used to the delay of the... Uh, what what I say and then the response. <laughs> um, so if you you uh, if uh, yeah you work oh you work from home today ah okay. Uh, not being in on Friday, I kind of got a little bit of uh, an essence from uh, from KJ of uh, people are just freaking out. A little chaotic, etc. So Monday should be interesting. Uh, that's what I've been told. But uh, Monday is going to be very, very interesting. So um, seems pretty clear they're going to be um, probably closing uh, for much longer. You know, from that last email that was sent, that uh, they're going to postpone the um, uh, the. Um, uh, the, the inauguration, which I'm glad they did that. I was in my head. I was thinking, why haven't they postponed this thing yet? But so thankfully they're doing that. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, they say not to touch your face. And I'm touching my face because my nose is itchy. Oh well. Uh, all I can do is what I can do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cat. I think they're going to close. I mean, you know, they everything is closing. Schools are closed. I mean, you know. You know, Karen has a pretty good idea. I mean, I don't think she knows for sure yet, but she has a pretty good idea that that's probably where it's headed. Once we figure out what faculty are doing or well, once faculty figure out what they're doing. Um, but it's going to be difficult if they close, if the facility, if they close the university, there's no physical presence 
potentially that that could be on the campus. So I'm not sure how they're going to work that out for someone like me who, you know, I mean, to the degree I can work from home, I'm not sure how, uh, how much I'm able to, but, um, so, uh, yeah, but so, you know, you, you being with media tech, right. You, you can, uh, you, 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 and pretty much everybody else can work, can, can work from home. Right. I mean, is that, is that, is that the, the, the determination at this point? Yeah. 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 I think that, I mean, I think, I think I could be helpful. I mean, online, I mean, you know, again, if we're, I think it's ha a good, I think the fact that we're um, doing the cross training at this point in time was kind of a happenstance, but I think it's a, I think it's a good uh, a, a sort of a happy accident, if you will, because I think those of us that would normally just be in classroom support, I, I don't see why we couldn't be helpful. I mean, there's going to be lots of, lots of people needing help. So clearly we figured out that between meetings and, just answering phones, figure out, figure out how, uh, figure out a way to answer phones and keep all that stuff, uh, you know, going, but, um, I don't know. I, I, you know, I think, um, along with this little sort of thing, which is, you know, technically it's supposed to be out for stuff about outside of work. And obviously we'll have meetings uh, as well, but, uh, for, uh, for more work related stuff. But I think for me, I'm just kind of going to, I want to kind of get into the the mode of uh, you know just keeping in touch with people, both at work and and uh, and otherwise, and uh, and you know wherever wherever it uh, wherever it crosses over, you know, like uh, with friends on Facebook that I happen to work with, and you know I try to I do try to sometimes keep that a little, you know, with certain people I I, I keep it like there are certain people that at work. I'm not friends with on Facebook and some are some that I, that I am, that I feel like I can be, you know, especially considering my politics. Uh, I have to be, I still have to sort of be careful about what I say. I think sometimes, I mean, even today I'm, I was commenting on some, on another coworkers um, thing about this, that, and the other. And I tend to, I think I shared a little too much of my, uh, thoughts about a few things. So I went back and I deleted them because, you know, especially around this time, it's like, I, you know, there's too much going on. There's too much, too much chaos. There's too many people freaking out. And, you know, I certainly don't want to be adding to people's stress if I want the whole point of me doing this and, 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 and other stuff is, you know, you know, this, this thing. And, uh, uh you know, I don't want to add to other people's stress, you know, I can be grumpy and stuff, but I don't, you know, I, I want to be, this is, you, you know, I'm seeing the thing I'm seeing online about this is like people that lived through world war two and we're going through all the stuff that they were going through there. But then there was this real sense of sort of community that happened because um, what choice did we have or the day did they have? Um, so I, I, and I'm already seeing that, you know, especially like with, uh, uh, my friend uh, Tammy LaForest, who is not up here, I'll, if she pops in, I'll have to mention her. But uh, um, she had put something up on Facebook, you know, this the quarantine live stream, and it was mostly for musicians and stuff. And I'm I'm sure that at some point I'll probably do some sort of music as part of this, so it should be nice. So I'm just not quite ready to do that because uh, because as a sound engineer, of course, I would want it to make a good sound good. So I need to do some testing first, but. Uh, but anyway, she had this really great idea. She created a group. I thought, hey, that's a great way to, you know, kind of keep in touch with everybody, right? So, um, yeah, you know. So I don't, I don't know. So what about you, Cat? What's your, what's, what's your, how you doing with all this? Uh, you know, we uh, we don't get a lot of a lot of times to chat apart from when I'm just about to leave or when I'm coming in or something like that. How are you doing with uh, all this stuff? Or how's how's your family and your friends and stuff doing. Service for your parents, yeah. Yeah. Are they um
<laughs> Interesting you say hawk overhead with bunnies. I, I don't know. I've lately, like uh, near like near my house, you know, parent, our one parent is immune. Oh, geez. Well, yeah. That's um, a definite cause for concern, for sure. Um, well, you know, first thing to do is make sure they're staying home, I guess. Uh, that's the first thing, right? Um, are, are they, do they live at, uh, at home at this point? Are they, you know, are they still in their own house and all that? And uh, um, <laughs> washing everything. I got to do the same, you know, for sure. Oh, that's right. You told me that. I'm sorry. I completely forgot. That's right. You live with your mom. You're, you're with your folks. That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I can see how that would be. Um, oh, your little sister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it sounds to me like, you know, especially uh, for your situation, um, you probably would want to stay home no matter what. It's like, I mean, to the degree that like coming into work, I don't know if it's a good, you know, probably not a good idea because they do have said that, like, you know, for family members that, you know, potentially need uh, more attention. I mean, I know that we're talking more about, like, you know, parent parents that are per perhaps much older and that are being taken care of by their, their you know, sons or daughters or whatever. But uh, in, you know, this situation, too, it's like, you know, the last thing you want to do is be bringing stuff into the house potentially. Um, so yeah, so, you know, it sounds to me like you're, you definitely would have a, a good argument to say, Hey, I'm not coming into work <laughs> until I'm, until it's an all clear, you know, and talk about washing everything. It's like, you know, that's what needs to happen at the school. I mean, whether there's been, you know, any, any, you know, I know as of right now, there's nobody that we know has been infected or anything, but, uh, that's the whole point of like shutting the school down is that they, you know, facilities needs to come in and clean everything. You know, and uh, yeah, right. My cat's chiming in. Um, I think that's the, the thing that I'm, I'm sort of the thing we've got to try and make certain faculty, uh, um, <laughs> baby. Well, you know, I think there's certain certain you know the things we've got, we've got to get faculty to understand is it's like you know we can't you can't just use your classroom can't just use your classroom with a video camera because you need to be not on campus. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he's uh, he, he is very uh, clingy lately, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Uh oh, there he is. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he's a, this one's a cuddle bug for sure. And he gets very, um, he gets very fidgety if I'm not holding him while I'm at the computer here. Right, thinky breath. Yeah. Um, so what I was gonna say too about like so you were saying about the hawk, uh, hawk to the bunnies and stuff. <laughs> um, all like yesterday and today, I have been seeing black, uh, like crows, uh, black blackbirds, like everywhere. It's bizarre. So, um, so <laughs> I, I feel the I feel you're sort of uh, that that. That particular metaphor is, I think, fairly apt, um, for sure. Nope. What are you doing? Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, this is clearly the lefty show, right? Yeah, it's the lefty show. Um, <laughs> is the word the word face about the the blackbirds? Is that what it is? <laughs> um, yeah, very weird, very strange, you know. Um, so anyway, yeah, like like I said, uh, part of uh, what, part of what I wanted to do with this is the, uh, you know, I mean, you know, with more people potentially coming on board down the road or whatever, you know, to make it just sort of a hub for people to come if they want to just chat and vent or or whatever, you know. I mean, even uh, eventually, maybe do in lieu of YouTube, maybe even do a Zoom thing, so we could see people, see and talk to each other, like in sort of real time instead of the chat function. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out uh, the best way to do to do these things. So, you know, this this platform would probably be best better for the music part of it, but maybe um, 
you know, maybe I would, uh, maybe I would do a zoom, you know, to the, I mean, as of right now, I mean, everybody's, uh, looks like it looks like the zoom uh, company are, are 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 easing restrictions especially for the schools and stuff so uh so i don't know um do you think like uh doing this thing as a, a, a more of a zoom would be more interesting that way we can kind of talk and see each other in real time or um All right. One of the things that I, I used to do, <laughs> jump course one more. Um, one of the things I used to do, I just uh, got to spend, uh, I don't forget how many years, not five, maybe three years? Three years. I say three years that um, I used to do, uh, I used to hope, hope, hope. I used to host open mics uh around Rhode Island and I'd I had been I, um, I did it for about not quite 20 years but close and uh got moved around a little bit here and there um but it, it was pretty popular for a while it was a lot of fun so I would host it and I'd do a few songs and people would sign up and, and do a few songs and stuff stuff like that and uh, I, I kind of thought now with everybody sort of uh uh all uh hunkered down and not being able to really go out. Actually, there were, there were a bunch of live, live streams up on, uh, up on Facebook, uh, tonight. So, uh, I think people are starting to maybe are already get into the potential, uh, you know, feel of that. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe trying to figure out a way to do, uh, some kind of online open mic, uh, you know, just kind of popped into my head. I had to formulate it and see how that would even work because, uh, I'd want to, oh, what did you do? Don't step on, no, dude, no, no, no. You can't do it. You can't press the buttons. Um, try to figure out the, uh, what the technical uh, challenges of that would be because I would want to make sure that everybody can hear everybody and uh, and all that. So, uh, so, I don't know, that's an open cat mic night, exactly. <laughs> Uh, that we could even do that. It's like we just basically invite people to who, you know, to so we can meet each other's cats and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not a bad idea. I can kind of, I can work, I can mix it up. Like, you know, some, uh, some nights are chatting about this, that, or the other. Some nights are meeting each other's cats. Some nights are music. Some nights are the mic. Uh, some nights are, oh, I don't know, whatever, whatever people might want to talk about. Yeah, that, that would that would be an interesting mix up and mash up of stuff. Um, and I've, like I said, I haven't done it in a while, so I'd, I'd have to figure this out. I'd have to figure out how best to do this. I don't know. Like I said, I think it would depend on the uh, the type of night to do music. I think for this uh, uh, Zoom Zoom meeting for uh, for um, meeting of the cats. Could do like a choir. <laughs> I thought that there was, uh, there may still be. I just haven't, I haven't, I have to research it. But I thought that there was a way to do you stream, uh, YouTube, and much the same way, invite people in like a like a meeting. Uh, <laughs> maybe not with the cats. <laughs> um, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta. Um, because if there's a way to do it in YouTube where I can get multiple people on with uh, audio and video, then I'll do it that way. So that way it's just I keep on one platform and can just keep it simple. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, I'd want to uh, put uh, maybe put that out to folks and see what they think. Um, sorry, I'm... Uh, Sort of doing multiple, couple of multiple things at once here too. Oh, uh, are you looking around what the um, the the um, YouTube app or uh, yeah? Sorry, just uh, it got brighter out brighter all of a sudden because I'm looking at a, with the website as well, but I'm not seeing it. 
I'm not, or I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe where I, I maybe I don't know where to go. Uh, maybe part part of it. Um, let's see. restriction yeah that's the thing like uh, yeah i'm not sure if there's something you'd have to pay for or uh, i'm not really sure um let me check one other place let's see Hmm. So it's live stream to multiple platforms at the same time. That's not really what I want to do. Yeah, no, like I said, yeah, if you, you know, you can go live on your end. It's just a, how would we connect it together? Like, what, you know, where in YouTube says, watch YouTube, new devices can stream, set up multi camera events. Uh, Facebook, no, it's Facebook Live. Um, yeah, so two person, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. How to stream multi? Uh, actually, there is something here. Hang on. Uh, switch camera. Well, I don't want to switch camera. Uh, no, that's multiple cameras. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm streaming multiple videos and, and shared screens. Uh, how to stream to multiple? No, that's not it either. Uh, let's see, two person broadcast, live stream tips. Uh, do a live interview on YouTube. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right, so it doesn't seem like it's impossible. YouTube. Uh, oh, let me see if this will work. So, yeah. Learn how to Facebook Live with two people and add viewers into your live stream using Facebook's two person. Oh, it's Facebook. Yeah, okay. So that's a Facebook function. Uh, Um, well, that one, how to start, uh, talk about how to start two live streaming, one, two, every YouTuber knows how to start the live stream, but don't know how to start two live streams in one. Huh. I think part of it is that it, um, one of the things that it's saying, it's um, it can potentially be done with um, uh, Google Google Hangout, which is not YouTube, but uh, I suppose that would technically be sort of the same thing, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to look into testing that. Yeah, and again, you know, Facebook Live does it. Um, 
but I think I'm not as it, from what I've seen of of, of, of of the Facebook one. It's not as um, it doesn't look as good. It's not as robust. I don't know. Um, that'd be something I'd have to uh, produce for YouTube. Yeah. Um, YouTube has its limitations for sure. Um, but there's got to be a way to do it. There's got to be a way to bring other people into a stream. But it's not really clear how to do that. Um, live streaming. Yeah. Oh, TP now. Uh -huh. I've got, I've got a thing going on in the background and it's sort of showing me what the potential new live event. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that's done. Uh, anyway, um, so I guess, uh, uh, there was a few other people that said they were, or they were looked like they were interested in coming into this thing tonight, but uh, eh, you know, maybe not. But hey, you know, we're going to start somewhere. So, like I said, uh, you know, my idea is to kind of do at least, you know, do about an hour or so, um, and just see if people show up or not, and then uh, we'll go from there. But uh, um. And then you know, depending. I mean, hey, if we're if if, there, if enough people show up and there's uh, and people want to uh, and people want to stay around, you know, talk and chat for a while. Um. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Just making my face look weird. Anyway, so uh, anything else there, Kat? What else you got going on in your life <laughs> other than work, other than chaos at work? <laughs> yeah right. Yeah no, I think um, I was talking. Uh, well, I went out today, and maybe I wasn't supposed to, but uh, someone in the the record store I went into was had mentioned something or was talking about something. <laughs> I will have pineapple for sure. Yeah, but I, I make sure I make sure I have some as well. Um, one of the things that someone was talking about. And it, 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 it it's in, in illustrative of what happened with the whole toilet paper thing. Like the stockpiling of toilet paper, I just don't understand it. Like, what was the point of that? Like, what are people like? What the hell are people eating that they feel they need to stockpile? Or you know, it's like, what, what is the point of that? So anyway, so what he had mentioned was that you know, um, with Australia, only just kind of coming out of that uh, horrific. Uh, fire season that they had where, I mean, the whole country was burning pretty much. So at the height of all that, because everything was burning, they actually did have an actual toilet paper shortage because things were burned down, the wood burned down. So they didn't have actual materials to make the stuff. So there was uh, actual toilet paper, legitimate shortage, not from people hoarding, but just because there was none. Like it had just uh, stuff was sold out. They hadn't made any 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 new stock, so there was like an actual thing, right? Um, and and then you know the the virus starts happening, and people start getting sick, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, and it, and it basically the news from Australia reaches over here, and there was a potentially a, like a conflation of like what was causing one thing or what was being affected by whatever. So the toilet paper shortage was conflated with the 
potent if with the, the the virus taking hold or starting to make people sick somehow and that somehow one thing affected the other so in other words because of this virus there's going to be a shortage of toilet paper so we have to hoard toilet paper because only americans would think that way <laughs> you know what i mean and the, if i thought about it for a second it's just like yeah of course that's what happened because americans are technically kind of stupid it's like so they just kind of do a thing without checking on it and then and uh it, it just like that's that makes total sense. It's like it makes no sense why the toilet paper of all things is was was like set upon. It doesn't make any effing sense. I can see hand sanitizer because that's out of that and some soaps and stuff. That I can see. Toilet paper? I, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, uh, like I said, I just, you know, what are these people eating? You know, uh, so. You know, the stop and shop uh, uh, online are saying, oh, you know, they're doing their best to, uh, I guess they're changing their hours and they're they're doing their best to, to restock everything. And it's just like, so it's like, okay. Because like someone from Italy, Italy was even saying, even though with the massive lockdowns that are happening, that people are still allowed to go out and buy groceries. So it's not like, you know, I don't really think there's going to be like a National Guard outside your house making sure you don't leave. I mean, if that happens, it's a whole other conversation, obviously. But I'm sure they're going to let people out to go, like, shopping. I mean, it's just like, this is ridiculous. So, uh, you know, leave it to Americans to just, like, be that stupid. I mean, I don't know. And I'm American, so I, I can say that. So whether I'm as stupid as those Americans, yeah, I'd like to think not. I'd like to think you're not. I'd like to think most of my friends aren't. Uh, but, you know. I don't know. It's just insane. So, but that being said, I know Karen just mentioned it too. It's just like, you know, I mean, she's got a family. So for her, the, you know, family of four, two young kids, et cetera. I can see she'll, she'll need the toilet paper, especially if her hunger down for that long. I'm a, I'm just one guy. I don't need that much. It's, you know, so, um, so, you know, but as far like, but as far as food goes, I, I've spent more on food this week than I've spent and that I spend in like four months, it seems. Uh, I, you know, I don't really spend that much on food on a, on a monthly basis, and I like I it's stupid. Uh, and then I bring it all home, and it's just like, and I'm still looking around, I was like, gee, what do I have for supper tonight? And I'm still like thinking about it. It's like, dude, you're full of food. Your pantry's full of food. Why am I? Why is this taking so long for me to figure out what the hell I want for supper? It's stupid. So. So now it's just like, ugh, I have all this food in my house, and it's sort of like, it kind of just ugh, it feels weird. But I don't know. Um, did, has your family uh, stocked up in the house at this point, Kat? Because uh, <laughs> I, know, I know Karen, only she only went today to get her food stuff. So I, I'm not sure if she was able to get all of uh, what she needed or, or whatever. So uh Yeah, it feels like you want to say it. Um, <laughs> um, I, uh, you know, one of the things I was thinking is like, all right, this would be, this could go either way, like this whole thing, depending on how long this takes. But the idea, my, I, my first thought is that, all right, if, if. <laughs> I have extra if anyone's super strapped. Well, you know, I think that's one of those things, God, depending on how long this goes, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I, th I think, you know, I, one of, it's like one of the things I was going to do, you know, I haven't, I, I was thinking to maybe do it Monday is to text my next door, next door neighbor who is a, an older retired woman. And uh, just to make sure that she, I think she, she's got family and grandchildren and stuff. So I think she's probably fine. And she's, you know, she still, still works part time as, uh, you know, uh, ambulatory or any, and all that kind of stuff. So she's probably fine, but in the in the the heart or in the in the the mind space of like sort of just making sure to say, look, you know, just make sure that you're if you did need anything that you know, just give me a you know, text me or give me a call or whatever. But yeah, yeah, I, so I get that for sure. Um, you know, you know, depending on uh, oh, hello. Um, God knows. I mean, you know, some people might, I mean, there are still some people that are not taking this seriously. 
I was one of those guys, at least initially. I, I was thinking, like, yeah, this is all just, uh, every, you know, overkill and stuff. But, you know, it's you know, the news is just uh, kind of dreadful right now. And until they're able to fig figure this out and get a vaccine going or, or at least testing, then it's like, yeah, uh, you know, we have no choice but to just sort of, um, you know, do what's happening. Was, you know, this is unprecedented in my 55 years on this planet, this freaking planet. Um, I've never, this is not, I mean, you know, blizzards are one thing, but that lasts, you know, the longest that's ever lasted is a week. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, well, and like I said, like the, the whole point of just trying to keep in contact online is to, uh, you know, there was, you know, it's the whole point of, you know, I think it's just something that needs to happen regularly. If, if, if indeed we're going to be like really stuck here for a while. Um, I mean, you know, the first thing they were saying was like, oh, you know, it's going to be maybe potentially two weeks. It's like, that's not what they're saying now. They're saying that there's a potential for things to be shut down for upwards of five to six weeks. That's not insignificant. That's going to completely cripple this economy. You know, if the government does not like literally shut everything down, like to the point where like, we're not paying bills, we're not paying mortgage. Our utilities are like not in fear of being shut off because we can't pay those bills or whatever or people just making sure that people have money and all that. If that doesn't happen in this country, there may be more problems than we think there's going to be. So, right. So, yeah. So I, I think in that point, you know, if the government ain't going to take care of us, we're going to have to take care of each other. Um, yeah. And yeah, yeah. The, you know, the idea that you can carry with no symptoms for, for so long. Exactly. Right. I mean, that's what it, I mean, you know, again, the more people are at risk and like the, there was some new cases in Rhode Island today, uh, but they did sort of isolate the fact that the people, the new cases were from people that had uh, traveled. Uh, so now there was also, um, yeah, exactly. No, I, I agree with you. It would cause riots. No, and that's exactly where it's headed. If the, gov the government aren't taking this seriously. You know, if if like that bill that's in the house that McConnell decided to like wait till Monday to, to vote on, as you know, and it's a crappy bill in the first place. Man, they're not taking it seriously. They're they're there's going to be rioting in the streets if they're not careful. You know, because you know a sick person with no health care and no money and no prospects and no hope. You know, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? In their mind, they're going to say. I have nothing left to live for. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go find myself a, a politician or a big pharma guy and cough on him for a while. You know what I mean? Um, you know, they, they really, this is a turn. I think this is a real, real serious turning point in this country regarding capitalism and how we're treated. Um, so, um, I think that it, it I think we, um, uh, I, I think, you know, capitalism is never going to be a long-term solution for anything. And I think now it's unfortunate that it's taking something like this with the potential deaths of a, a lot of people is the only way this is going to change, that it's going to change anything. I don't know. So, I mean, that's sounds, sounds kind of grim, but yeah. Yeah, the lack of testing exactly is effing ridiculous. It's like, is, you know, um, there was a, something in today or tonight that I saw some article that Trump was connected to the people somehow monetarily connected to the people that make these tests. And it's just like, Oh my God, this guy's just an absolute monster. It's like, I, I don't, I just don't understand why he's just being allowed to do this. Um, yeah, he's getting tested. I don't believe that for a second. He came back tonight, today, apparently saying, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'm not I'm not infected, and if I was, I wouldn't tell you. So, what does that say to you? <laughs> uh, you know, he's he's uh, what a fucking moron. You know, so I don't know. I I, I don't know. It's uh, you know these things are being you know th this being a public stream that's being recorded and probably being monitored by the CIA. I probably don't want to say what I'm thinking, but you know, it's like. For someone like that, for a monster like that, you know, he gets what he, he's going to get what he deserves eventually, you know.
you know, he likes to be a tin pot Mussolini. It's like, well, things didn't end well for Mussolini. If, if people want to remember their history, right. Right. And there's some really ugly pictures about how he ended up. So I think you're right. You know, they need to, the rich, uh, don't seem to be afraid of it and they sort of need to be, I think they're in trouble if they don't. Um, so, you know, yeah, I think, uh, the rich, uh, uh, you know, uh, so th those of us that aren't rich need to kind of, you know, look out for each other because uh, I, I think we're not going to have a choice. Now, that's kind of times the resources are taken away from the people who need it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what's a good. Yeah, all the rich people will have that have that resource. They'll 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 get the test, and then if there is an actual vaccine, they'll get it first, right? Yeah, but you know. So that so that's sort of the doom and gloom scenario. So now, as of right now, though, on the other side of it, the more positive aspect is that there are scientists in Canada and I do believe in also, I don't know if it's China or Japan, I forget where, that are in the process of isolating the virus. And up in Canada, they're saying they have found a vaccine or they're close to it. So that's the um, positive part of that. So um, what... Well, I think that's what will happen. It's like once that vaccine is ready to go and like, if like, especially if it's given to everybody in Canada and like everywhere else. And then if America decides, Oh no, we're going to make people pay for it. That's where, that's where the pivot comes, is going to happen. Right. So I, that, you know, it's going to be, we thought last year was going to be interesting. Boy, did the <laughs> 2020 said, hold my beer, man. Holy crap. I mean, it's, and it's not even, it's like, it's, it's mid March and it's just, holy crap. It just is relentless. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. It better not. Um, so hopefully, um, yeah, so we'll see. I, I, you know, I'm trying not to get too overly, you know, Sort of, you know, just uh, I, I, I'm trying to balance the 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 doom and gloom scenario that it's too, very easy for me to fall into, and I'm still trying to remain hopeful, obviously, because I want to. <laughs> these are the things that Karen sort of makes fun of me about is the fact that I, it's easy to get riled up, and I, I'm good at riling people up. So I've always thought maybe I should run for office. <laughs> I could I could probably rile some people up to action, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have the, the guts to do that, but, but yeah, no plague is right. That's where we're at. I mean, you know, we're a hundred years after the flu of 1918 and, uh, you know, they're not, if they, if they were smart, if they were smart, they would look, uh, at what they did back then to, to at least, uh, you know, keep it nominal. And one of the things was that they closed everything down. <laughs> You'd vote for me, not just against Trump. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if the, uh, the 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 skeletons in my closet would make it so that would be too easy for people to to um, you know uh, sort of you know to 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 run against me and win just by just oh you remember what he did when he was twenty two years old? So, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I could be very forthcoming with what I, my life has been like, so maybe it wouldn't matter. Um, and uh, fuck if Trump, if, if I mean, you know, the only difference between Trump, you know, Trump had money. That's the only reason he got in. I don't have money, so that's part of the problem. Like, if I had money, then uh, you know, I probably would have thought, I, I, you know, but but it's also part of it too. It's like I, that's the biggest thing I hate about politics is that somehow having money makes you qualified to be to to be a leader. It's like no, not really. You just know how to make money. So what does that do? It doesn't mean anything, you know. I gotta wonder. It's like I hope to God is. I hope to God that's not what they teach over the school of business. You know, that like the un, the unethic the unethical nature of capitalism. Um, and I, you know, I don't know. I, I'd like to think that's not how they teach things there. Um, you know, they've all got skeletons. That's for sure. And uh, <laughs> it's like, what is it? It's like weird Batman rules. Weird Batman rules. I've, what do you mean by that? I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> I mean, everything's weird, so weird Batman rules. 
I'm not sure what, how, how do you mean by the Batman rules? I'm curious. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, the rich make the rules. No, you're, you're absolutely right, which is like, why, why should that be? Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Exactly. It's just like, you know, um, again, knowing how to hoard money doesn't make you any more or less of a, so I was so, I was so, what was it back in, well, it was last year when, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Starbucks, uh, uh, owner, the Starbucks CEO, I forget his name, you know, decided he was going to run for president. And it's like, dude, it's like, you know, I, I mean, I suppose that there was probably something in his heart that said, I want to be helpful. I want to try to do you know, the right thing. I want to try and be, use my platform, use my money, blah, blah, blah. But it was just like clearly unqualified. Dude, you sell coffee. It's like what the hell makes you in any way, shape, or form think that you're eligible to be the fucking president, you know, and, and run things. And it's like the, the two don't make it. It's just because you have money at that point and you have a few ideas. I was like, okay. But, dude, it's like, you know, everybody's got a good idea. You just happen to have money so you can buy commercial time to espouse your ideas. So, you know, now being said, I'm probably not much different. I have a few good ideas. I don't have money. If I had money, I'd be the same cretin as that guy. So I don't know. So I guess it comes down to, like, okay, are his ideas any better or worse than my ideas? It's just that he happens to have money. If the money part of it was taken out of it, you know, would there be a potential, more of a potential for, you know, equanimity between those of us that have good ideas and some, and those of us that just don't, you know, um, I don't know, but that's a whole political argument. That's, that's, that's a separate thing. So that's <laughs> the other thing with the, uh, these, uh, I'll have to figure out topic nights, maybe even like for these, uh, for these live uh, streams, uh, you know, but, you know, one, one night is uh, pop, uh, politics night. One night is uh, we talk nothing. We, we only talk about uh, cooking. That would be a good one, actually. Um, oh, my cat's howling in the background. Um, yeah, cooking, a cooking one would be good, too. So cooking, politics, music, um, uh, books, games. Um, what else? Um, Oh, well, we said cats. That's right. I was trying to remember. So I'm trying to think of the, uh, to figure out themes for these things. <laughs> um, trying to think. I'll have to start just making a list of uh, potential themes. So this, this, this is where other people would come, come in handy. They might have ideas about the kinds of uh, uh, themes and things that we could talk about. Um, you know, what do people, so I like, especially now, I mean, this is like, uh, I don't know, it's like day one of, uh, of the, uh, well, I'm not even calling it a quarantine right now. What are the social, oh, that's right. Social distancing, right? Okay. Another new, new age term. Um, but, um, um, so like, yeah, like what, what it'll be actually, what'll, what, it'll, what will be interesting is that a week from now cleaning hacks, that's a good one. Um, it, what'll be interesting. So if I do this next, so, okay. So here's a question for you. Uh, depending on the situation, my thought is to potentially do these every Saturday night, you know, again, since like now Saturday night, if we're all stuck at home, whether it's, you know, so my thinking is to do this at 10 o'clock or, or. I guess a question would be: Would it be better to do this earlier, maybe, for people, or or later, even for you know, for that matter? I don't know. Um, they got to wonder if ten o'clock somehow. Well, even for a Saturday, if it's ten o'clock, is maybe too late somehow. Unless you're, uh, you know, a strange slight slight night owl like you or you or me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was my thought, you know, uh, and I, I kind of have, I've always had this thing. I've always, you know, 
in my earlier years, I always had this sort of thought to be, I would have, I would have loved to have been a radio DJ, but like a late night one, like after midnight kind of thing, you know, like do a, the, you know, the 12 to three or the 12 to four spot or something, you know, just that time of the day, time of the night where it's, you know, it's all, it's that, you know, it's just the people on the fringe that are still up. And I kind of like that idea, you know, so sometimes I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. Um, could vary the times for sure. Yeah. It was like anything else. I could certainly vary the times, you know, depending on, uh, on what it is we're talking about per se. You know, like, so, uh, yeah, no, that's true. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be always at the same time. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, well, stuff to think about, I think. Well, I, um, as I was going to say, yeah, it'll, it's going to be interesting. So I think either way I'll do one next week, next Saturday, and I'll, I'll you know, put it up there and see if I can see if more people will show up. Uh, but um I'll be interested to, to see after a week, like how people are, like where people are at with their, you know, having been sort of uh, for, forced into their houses for longer than they've ever done before. You know, uh, how people are doing with it. You know, I think people are kind of like, oh, you know, people are kind of doing the same thing they would do, like if it was a blizzard, oh, let's make make good food, and we'll watch movies, and we'll do this, and play games, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, that's great, but then, you know, usually the idea is then the next morning you wake up, you shovel the snow, you make a snowman, or whatever, you may have a couple of days where you're making a soup, and all that, and then by the third day, everything is cleared out, and you know, life starts, life starts over again, you, you go back to work, from the snow day and everything kind of continues as normal with just mounds of snow everywhere. So that's not going to be the case this time. So this is going to be a real interesting um, social phenomenon. I think um, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very kind of, uh, I don't want to say excited, but I'm just sort of, uh, it's something that I'm really kind of looking at to, um, observe and take notes about truthfully because yeah surreal is definitely you know it's it's just sort of um yeah there's no snow on the ground you know what i mean it if you thought for a second that you know oh, it's, it's going to be blizzard out so people are home hunkering down they've done all the shopping and all this kind of stuff but there's no snow on the ground it's warm out you know i mean it's like it's crazy. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's it's about as surreal as it gets. I keep thinking that, like, you know, we're going to wake up one morning and we're just going to see all the UFOs in the sky, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, which at least would give us a bit of a clue as to what the fuck is going on, because i got to wonder sometimes. But, um, you know, it's either that or the if this is indeed a, a, a big... Uh, you know, like a big, a big simulation that we're all living in. I think someone just needs to reset the whole damn thing. Cause what the fuck, you know, if, if this is just a weird program that some sadistic gamer is playing, uh, was it, I keep dreaming they've made a cure and then waking up and being sad. <laughs> Why would you be sad? <laughs> oh, brain and a vat theory. Yeah. Oh, well there's that. Yeah. No. So, so waking up and being sad. So why would you be sad that there's a cure? Or am I, did I read that wrong? So I'm, I'm, I keep dreaming they've made a cure and then waking up and being sad. Oh, dreaming that they, oh, I'm sorry. I, I got it now. I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was reading it funny. That's weird. I, in my head, I was thinking is like that I, I kept dreaming that they made a cure um, and then waking up and being sad. For some reason in my head, I'm thinking, you woke up, but there was an actual cure, but you were sad that there was a cure. So I don't know. I think that means that uh, it's getting late and my, my brain is starting to uh, see things that aren't there. <laughs> um, brain and a vat theory. Yeah, no, brain and a vat theory is totally, to, I believe me, I, I, that to me is like, I don't know, it's as, it's as good a, it's a, as good as, it's as good an explanation of anything as anything else. I don't know. Cause it's just too weird. Um. Yeah, no, I'm writing fast. Um, no, isn't the cure? But I, like I said, I, I'm thinking that there will be a cure. Uh, 
one of the things that was interesting too that I read um, was that uh, the virus itself, the composition of the virus, is like the it's it's held together by like a like a like a fatty I don't know crust or something like that. But uh, the reason why they keep saying to wash your hands is apparently soap breaks it down like immediately uh, or something. So in my head, I'm thinking, all right, well, if that's the case, then like, all right, wouldn't you think, and I don't think as a chemist would, I don't think what the compounds would be, but wouldn't you want to find something that does the same thing? So it sounds like it's a bit of a degreaser, like when, you, when you're washing your dishes. You put the soap on it, it takes the grease off, and it breaks it down, and that's right. It's the same exact thing. So do the same thing with like, okay, it's it's the same. It's like grease. It's globule grease is what it seems like. So do this. What's the same? What's the properties of the dishwashing liquid that would break it down, or the soap, or the whatever? You know, I don't know. That's how I think. So God knows. Um, so hopefully, you know, smarter men, smarter minds than than I can make the, the, that connection on a more scientific level, and go, oh, yeah, we got to do this, this, and this. So uh, here's a question. I'm thinking. So it's about what is it? About ten of eleven. Um, I'm gonna so like there's um, one question. So I had a, there was a question on Facebook or somebody. So I guess one of the things they're already looking for is they're looking for um, people to potentially be um, guinea pigs for when they do have a vaccine. So the idea would be, or you know, or or what they would do would be guinea pigs so that they can try out the vaccine. So they would inject you with the virus. Excuse me. They would inject you with the virus and then, you know, and then basically experiment on you with these new drugs. And, uh, they're, you know, say though, you know, they pay you $4,500. It's like, okay. And in my head, I'm thinking, it's like, why didn't they just round it off to five? It's like, why 4,500 exactly? I don't understand that. So, and even five is not really enough. It's like maybe 10. I do it for 10, not so much five. Um, you know, um, I've, you know, I've done, some medical stuff like that. And it's, uh, yeah, you know, not horribly fun, but, um, but for I, I might do it. Well, put actually you put it this way. I would work it out. It's like, look, you want me to be a Guinea pig? All right. I'll be a Guinea pig. Tell you what, buy my house, wipe out all my bills, wipe out my mortgage, clean slate me. Right. That way, if it don't work, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it, about any of my bills going any, to anybody else. Wipe out my wipe out my my debt, then you can experiment on me all you want. And then if I live, then it's all set. Then I'm then I then I win. I, I win both ways. You know, but that that would make too much sense, I suppose. Um, um, <laughs> oh, just looking at something. Sorry. Um, anyway. So I think, um, as I was saying, yeah, well, late night, yeah, sorry, it's just, woo, late night brains. Yeah, it's around uh, Saturday at around 11 o'clock that things start to, I don't want to say they unravel, but they start to get a little less, uh, sort of, as well, things like not finding the right word starts starts to happen. Uh, so I think that, um you know, uh, like I said, it's about eight minutes. Of, so I've, I've been on for about an hour. Uh, the great dissolve. <laughs> exactly. Um, let's hope that the great dissolve, uh, that's a, that's a good, um, maybe that's what they'll call the, call the new, uh, the new virus, uh, killer, the great dissolve. That'd be a, that'd be a good, uh, a good name for it. I think. Um, so I don't know. I think, uh, I might uh, call it for the night, I think, um, and then this will be up up on my uh, up on my uh, uh, up on my uh, YouTube YouTube channel for good and all, I suppose. Um, but you know, yeah, let me know. Well, I'll see you Monday. Uh, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, wait. Are you in? You're not in. Are you in Monday? You're not in Monday, are you? I forget where you what the new hours are because I know because right because you do the weekend now. So are you in Monday at all or no? 
I'm just wondering because I know Karen had mentioned that she it was like she she wanted to, uh, right? You don't work on Mondays, yeah? Okay, yeah. Um, I know she was just telling me about you know um, about stuff going on. So well, uh, you know, maybe I'm sure she'll if um, for like ever. <laughs> Yeah, right. So I, I gotta wonder if you know Karen will probably contact you if there's about what's happening. I'm a, you know, I, I keep I've been keeping track of the emails and stuff, and uh, there hasn't been anything new today so far. Uh, there was a th again the last the last update was last night. Um, I haven't checked uh, since then. So um, all right. So well, even if I don't see you Monday, I guess that would be the question. So and I guess depending if Monday's the last. I don't know, I just, I felt like I was getting that, like, potentially Monday was the last day we were going to be on campus. I may have conflated that, so I'm not really sure. But uh, either way, if I don't see you in person, uh, you know, let's definitely keep in touch on the Facebook. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll keep you posted enough if you're uh, interested in this as an ongoing thing, potentially. Um, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, anyway, but I'll, I'll keep you and everybody posted if, uh, if this is something you're interested in and it's to, to, to do hangouts and stuff. And like I said, yeah, I'll, you know, I'm going to do some more research about, uh, the whole YouTube, uh, thing, seeing if other people can join in via video and audio, if not that zoom meeting, if not that Google hangout, um, uh, you know, if there's uh, other, well, this is, again, there's also the Facebook uh, component as well. Um. <laughs> keep fighting the good fight in yes uh yeah well I, don't, I think we have no choice but to you know i think as much as i can be um pessimistic and um um sort of micro, you know um uh, misanthropic um i um i think i'm too much of a, of a coward to just sort of like say eh fuck it all even though i say it I don't really mean it. You know, it's one of those things. It's, it's more for more, it's more for me to just kind of get it out of my head. But I think deep down, it's sort of like, yeah, you got to keep fighting until, until listen, until I'm like in a hospital bed and I'm, it's like, it's like time to go. It's just like, all right, that I'll know. But until that, until that happens, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to be a big, I'm going to be a big loud arsehole about things sometimes when, 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 it, when, I, when, when there's a need for a big loud asshole, that would be me. So anyway, all right, cat. Well, I will, uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care. Um, make sure to wash your hands. Don't lick any doorknobs. Apparently that's not a good thing to do these days. Uh, I've stopped doing it. So yeah. Um, and, you know, yeah, take care of your folks and stuff. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're, we're, but maybe you all should be, you know, buy the hazmat suits and stuff. And, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. So, Kat, it was good. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for, uh, for being the very first guest on my little pod, well, podcast, yeah, you know, live stream. That's podcast is another thing I'm thinking about doing as well. So, anyway, uh, Kat, I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to head out into the wild blue yonder. Good night.